Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Cancer, I want to let you guys know we're going to be uploading a video uh, where I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the Saturn and Jupiter conjunction that we're going to be experiencing on December 21st. If you want to find out how it's going to affect your sign, definitely stay tuned for that. All right, Cancer, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Your first card here is the Six of Swords. Moving on. I see you guys moving on. Um, for some of you guys feeling like the person of your interest or the person that you're dealing with uh, may be wanting to walk away from this connection. We have the Six of Wands here as well. So we have Six of Swords and Six of Wands. Um, we have two Sixes here. Okay. So what they're saying here is, for some of you guys, you may be dealing or you may, uh, for the month of December, experience uh, a need to get out of your comfort zone, Cancer. Um, this is how you're viewing your partner. So again, I feel that your partner is going to be really challenging you for this month. For some of you guys, it could be, um, it, it could just represent that they're wanting to shake things up in the relationship. Um, with the Six of Swords and Six of Wands, there is definitely some type of achievement, some type of goal that they're really uh, trying to push you uh, to be able to accomplish or to achieve. Uh, but I definitely feel like they're really shaking things up. For some of you guys, this could represent, um, you know, <clears throat> a very sexual active relationship if there's been lack of that. Uh, we also have the moon here. I feel like you guys are going to be very affected, you guys, with this coming full moon. Um, now, this is how you're viewing the partner with the moon and the queen of cups. I definitely feel like there is almost like your intuition is telling you that there's something going on and you can't really put your finger on it. Um, this is definitely your energy in your own reading, Cancer. So I feel that uh, for some of you guys, it could just represent that your partner is really like, they're going to be pushing your buttons basically is what I'm hearing. They're going to be pushing your buttons or they're going to be really challenging you like I said, there's there's a need for you to get out of your comfort zone. But I feel that the reason why uh, they're doing this is because they want to see how interested you are in them. Or they're wanting to see um, some type of validation of your feelings for them. Uh, and the reason I say that is Six of Swords usually indicates um, moving towards a different direction or going to calmer waters. But with the six of wands here, I feel that ego is involved and it could just be that they are acting like they're wanting to get attention. Perhaps you start to experience them like catching them flirting or making eye contact, stuff like that. Um, but with the moon card here, I feel that it's hidden energy, like their true intentions is the queen of cups. So they're really wanting to see where you stand with them or how deeply you feel for them. Basically, it's them testing you. Um, I, I feel like kind of like challenging type of energy, but I feel that it's it's petty in a petty way. Um, you may be dealing with a person that um, is hot and cold, like they, they'll contact you and then they pull away. They contact you and then they pull away. Um, and I feel that if you are looking at them like on social media, anything like that, you may notice them like trying to make conversation with other people. Uh, women or with other men, but I feel that they're not doing it in a secretive way. They're doing it like out in the open for you to acknowledge or see that to see if it triggers something because really what they want is to know what you feel for them. That's all they want. They're wanting to know if you're really wanting them the way they're wanting you. Now, your partner's cards here is the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I definitely feel that this person is definitely interested in you. They're definitely feeling you. Um, with the Ten of Swords here, it's almost like they have certain toxic traits that they need to work through with or that they need to work on. Um, and I feel that that's getting the best of them, especially when we get closer to the full moon. They may be acting like out of character 
And I feel that this is just a form of getting attention. Um, and it again, it, it really taps into that of their toxic traits or toxic behaviors that they need to work on. It's almost like I'm seeing them as a child, like when a child throws a tantrum, like they don't care who's around. They just, you know, uh, start pounding, kicking, etc. I feel that that's what they're doing, but in an adult form. Um, so it's like communicating or making conversation with other people just so that it can trigger you or get a rise out of you. And it's only because they're wanting to know uh, what you feel for them. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, the same message applies. They may be acting a little bit out of character, and it could be because they're feeling uh, like you've become a little bit standoffish or maybe became a little bit like cold, perhaps not being as sexually active as you usually would. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, though, and the Moon, there are hidden emotions underneath the actions that they're taking. I hope that makes sense. Now we also have the Angel de la Nude and the Page of Swords. Yeah, there definitely there's definitely some stalking going on for some of you guys. Um, is if this is a person that <clears throat> you're no longer with, and this is an ex or a, an ex partner, I definitely see that they are like actively going out of their way to let you know that they're flirting or talking to other people, but it's only because they're trying to get a rise out of you. And with the page of swords here, there's definitely some stalking going on either on social media, um, Facebook, uh, TikTok, anything like that. I feel that they're definitely very, very much looking towards what you're doing or what you're up to. So again, if you are dealing with an ex or a person that, you know, you're no longer with, etc. If there is still feelings there, Cancer, don't take it to heart. Um, I feel that they're just doing this to get attention, to get a rise out of you and to see if there is still some feelings there uh, for them uh, that you may be still holding on to. Now, for others of you, this could just represent your partner being very difficult, uh, a bit overprotective. Um, but again, I feel that it has a lot to do with because there is a feeling of there's a feeling of air here. And that usually indicates like you being more in your head instead of being like more emotional, which I know I, I find that very difficult to believe from cancers. But it could be that you're dealing with a lot of things on a mental level, like a lot of things that you have to figure out uh, business wise, finances, the home life, etc., and they just feel like you're not as present when you're with them. So it could be that they're taking on this energy of um, being a little bit overprotective or jealous. Um, yeah, see, financial constraints. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could just be that um, you're not very much disconnected from the relationship. It could just represent that you have a lot of financial uh, worries, a lot of burdens. I mean, the holidays are around here, around here, <laughs> around the corner. Um, and this could just very well represent um, your mind towards that, you know, and, and trying to balance things out. And they're feeling like there hasn't been any passion between you guys. For others of you, this could be your partner, the one that's working like very long hours, and you guys don't really have time uh, to give each other time. And what they're saying here is it could just represent uh, a bit of disconnection and a feeling of wanting to feel the togetherness or wanting to feel the embrace of each other. Um, and that could be why the partner is taking this, you know, this role of being a little bit overprotective or even jealous, uh, even a, a partner that doesn't necessarily uh, you know, really tap into that type of energy, but I definitely do see them being tested emotionally. And again, it could represent um, the Pluto energy as well. You know, it really taps into our subconscious things that are suppressed, things that perhaps have been bothering us for quite a while, and we just don't address it. Um, and until we get to a situation where there's a culmination, again, uh, Pluto in Scorpio, that is going to bring out... Um, you know, even the feeling of resentment towards each other. So again, I feel that communication is going to be key here. Uh, for others of you, uh, if you're dealing with an ex-partner, a person from the past, 
uh, that is watching you, that is looking at everything that you're doing, etc. Um, I don't really see you bothered by it. I feel that you're more focused or more determined in, in working on yourself and your financial stability. Um, but what they are saying here with the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands, you're going towards uh, achieving. You're going towards um, the potential of what you're wanting to accomplish. Remain focused. Don't let this type of nasty energy, <laughs> uh, petty energy distract you uh, from going towards your goals. Uh, going to be very important for you to stay focused for this month of December, Cancer. I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. I want to wish you guys the best of holidays. Stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Bye.